I hope it's a little bit better. We're dropped down to 1080p. Um, so everything's going to look, you know, a little bit less snazzy maybe. But I'm hoping it's okay. Going to go ahead and start up new game. Hey, hey, Gonzo. All right, well, I hope it's not Slideshow City here. For some reason, I can't escape out of this. We're just gonna let it play. Much better than before. Good, good deal. Yeah, so I just dropped it down to 1080p. Um, my, the problem is um, I don't have hardware encoding just yet on my Linux setup here. Good deal, First good deal. All right, welcome back, I everybody. <laughs> Thanks for coming back. Let's play some Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. Hey, at the Welpa! Yeah! Thanks for being here. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Stand up. There you go. You were Let me know. Dreaming. Yeah? We good? What's All right, I'll take that as a good. Need some Telvanni. Okay. Hold up. I haven't exactly even decided what the build is going to be. So, you know, now we can finally play the game. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. Sweet. <laughs> Quiet. Yeah, his pants are a little bit less snazzy this, this time. You I gotta say. Come with me. Arin, uh, G. Gods failed us a little bit here. You better do what they say. Um, I gotta say though, one thing I like about the better bodies mod and the head combo is there isn't like as much or, or even at all of a contrast between his neck uh, and his head. There looks pretty good. Pretty happy with you this. You better do what they say. Yeah, yeah. Random pants. Yeah, you got it, my friend. There's a there's a small mod out there called Wears. Some of you may have heard of it. It's lovely. You gotta check it out. Get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil as possible. This guy. On deck now, prisoner. And you know, I just like to move. The sooner meander you back leave, here. the sooner we can move on. I like to go back here and check out the bread, check out the broom. Somebody made an MWSE yes, Lua mod used. back in the day where you can take We're a broom and clean the cobwebs. If anybody remembers the name of that mod, tell me. I feel like we could do an open MW port now. Yes, yeah, man. Uh, where's is like all, uh, all kinds of stuff, right? Like holding things and a lot of the snazzy stuff you're going to see is where's. You know, props to Danae. Amazing. Um, so, yeah, uh, we got to decide what the build is going to be. Um, and as I was saying previously, it really matters a lot with our setup, what build we pick. Ooh. We're like in a situation here. Oh, yeah. Agreed. Totally agreed. Better this bodies. Good stuff. You. Head down to the dock. And it's aged well. Maybe somebody could do like an AI enhanced texture upgrade on it, you know, and, and that's a room for improvement right there. But uh, I'm going to switch off the water shader just because we need those extra FPS right now, in my opinion. Um, ah, a little bit better. Let's go. Okay. Move it along. Um, yeah, so... You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. Where are we from? You know, we got real disposition, which ensures basically that we got to work for any, like, positive relationship we have with somebody. Prices are going to be inflated. Money is going to be scarce with for the right price. But at the same time, there's going to be, like, people wanting to kill me everywhere because of friends and foes and other mods. Like the the I'm doing a playthrough on my Steam Deck, and before I even got out like of the census, like before I went into the door up there, there was some crazed NPC off in the distance trying to attack me. I get out of the census of an excise office, guards kill him, and then I got like a nice suit of armor, right out the door, you know. So, uh, web sweeper at Walpa coming through. Thank you, I appreciate that. We got to do an open MW Lua port of that for sure. We need that. You know, like, I feel like sweeping up cobwebs would be really chill. Nice, nice. Yes. 
<laughs> okay, cool, Gonzo. Yeah, maybe we'll fix that for next time. But yeah, as you can see, we got the cool looking Morrowind chat box. So, anyways, I need like a charismatic, personable sort of race. Uh, as much as I can get here in Morrowind. Yeah, I saw that actually. Uh, looking very much forward to replaying Melodies of Moonlight, seeing the extra quest there. Props. Uh, Argonian Witch Hunter. Man, that's a good suggestion. Hold up. We get some cool stuff, right, f with uh, playing Argonian. <clears throat> that's tempting. What else? Be an orc, Telvani. <laughs> and I was also thinking, too, like, maybe we could change the name to Calixa and be a female, too, because I think females get, like, a personality bonus, right? And I feel like we need that extra help. Because <laughs> real disposition. I'm not even playing with the hard one. I feel like that's, like, disposition 10 or something. Okay, high agility, Khajiit. You know, honestly, I don't... It's, uh, it's between Khajiit and Argonian, honestly. This is pretty good. Dark Elf Talvani. Classic, of course. And it's a lot of the stuff I want to use to... Um, hmm. I don't know. I, like, never play as the Beast Races, so I'm really tempted to do this. Let's see. Let's just humor me out here. Let's check out the different heads we got. As my eek. <laughs> and the, yeah. Yeah, well, exactly. They could work as Telvani, right? Like, anybody who's played Rise of House Telvani knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, okay. I mean, these are some cool heads. And the normal maps look pretty good, too. Wow. I mean, I, I think I'm seeing normals there. Or the textures just look good. Spearman. Okay. Ooh, that's tempting. We'll get there. Because I wonder what attributes Spear governs. Yeah, yeah, okay. I hear you regarding the stealth mods, for sure. All right. That's pretty good. Maybe we'll just tough it out and be a man and deal with the lower disposition. We'll make it Calyx this time. Maybe Calyxa will be next time. These beast heads are pretty rad, I gotta say. Yeah, um, I mean, events probably won't come for a minute, um, if I'm being honest with you guys. But, like, lots of them could be hand-rolled now. As I was actually thinking about making, like, a third-party library that adds events for people, too. Because, I mean, you can basically use on update to provide tons of events right now. I was speaking with Irma about this privately. And, um, you know, that's basically the conclusion we came to for now. Just, uh, what did I do? Ah. Hand-roll them in on update, though, or on frame or something, you know? Um. But indeed, when we actually have, like, engine-level events, when things are de-hard-coded enough where it makes sense to do that, we'll be good. All right. Honestly, I think I liked... We're going to be Argonian. It's decided. That's pretty cool. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you know, it's, like, mildly inconvenient to hand-roll those. And that's why I feel like if enough people are going to use a certain event at this point, you know, let's make, it like, a third-party library. I definitely want to do that for UI stuff. Have, like, an opinionated UI library or something. Pro produce stuff like the natural character growth and decay menu. All right. Wow. All right. I want to say I'm going with this one. Boom. 
I should warn you, some of the local Dark Elves have a pretty low view of your people. Stick to Imperial and Lalu territory and you'll be all right. Yikes. All right. Here we go. I guess it's a fair warning. Ah, uh, yes. We've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can Digging do this. Digging his head, the too. I like the, like the jawbone on him. It looks pretty good, gotta say. Yeah, so um, that's quest voice dialogue by Von Django. And uh, you gotta use it. Go use it. Yeah, you'll fit right in. All right, so... The question is, do we like put our faith in Todd and do we just answer the questions or do we try to make a class? What are we doing here, people? Come on. <laughs> oh, God. Um, all right. I'm thinking we maybe we'll pick from the class list. We're not going to go too crazy or even too, too crazy. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, Catastrophe, man. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Custom class always. I mean, I agree, Sophia, totally. But today, do we want to do this? Custom class? All right, I'm getting, wow. I guess I can't I always create custom class. It is. Boom. All right. So, now, I'm going to, we're going to wait on the name here because I feel like we can't give it a good name. Unless it's cheeky before we say what it is. My natural inclination always is magic. Oh, yeah, thank you. I got to give props to, uh, <laughs> right? I got to give props to um, Herdrax and Gonzo. Uh, so much uh, is possible because of them, including this. And so, yeah. Um, so, what I'm finding. Uh, playing on my Steam Deck using my normal magic biased build is that combat is pretty brutal. I got to play very defensively, you know. I got to, like, use my fire touch and, and, you know, maybe running back to the village now and then so they can summon their hounds. Not so shameful. Um, but I'm wondering, like, maybe do we want to be combat focused, you know? Uh, what is our character here for even? Um, I didn't really think about it much. I was too busy doing yard work this morning <laughs> after coffee. All right. I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, actually, I don't know about the head options. Yeah, ma agreed, Sophia, for sure. But, but, like, after that point, mage becomes, like, psh, you're just god mode at that point. You might as well TGM, right? Gotta be all magic. All right. Um, Detail devil, it's, uh, there's a... There's a, actually a different source for beast heads. I'll link you after the stream. Um, uh, quite a few probably also, though, from Tamriel Data. Yeah, yeah, totally. So, um, and it's kind of impressive how well those kind of, like, I couldn't tell what was the, the modded heads and what was Tamriel Data. So, very nice. All right, we're doing magic. I got a couple positive votes for magic. Now, so my natural inclination here, of course, um, I do custom class so much that I actually, like, modded my own default class because I just got sick of putting it together um but if I were doing that I would have gone with intelligence and willpower of course as my favorites but again that ends up with like a super low endurance character who has almost no HP so like anybody who wants 10 gold off you to cross the bridge is gonna like chase you down and bop you with a stick and kill you so I think we need to maybe be a little more thoughtful um And again, you know, maybe we want to be biased towards personality because, you know, Vardenfell is not so hospitable of a place, right? Um, we need every edge we can get because otherwise people are just going to spit on us. Not quite like in Witcher. Although that should be a mod, right? Like, yeah, luck and endurance. Ooh, that's really interesting. Ooh, we're going with that, actually. That is really interesting. Being a, a lucky mage who is resilient <laughs> all right um so my favorite mage skills 
going off the bat conjuration because i love conjuring weapons we're using the bound weapons mod which tastefully nerfs those enough where if you don't have weapon skills they're not really so useful anymore you know they're no longer like the weightless super powerful swords that can carry you through the entire game but on the other hand conjuration has some useful stuff i don't know if i want to go for a major skill this time though i'm actually thinking destruction for sure And I'm thinking in our major skills, we want to have one defensive skill and also one offensive skill. So the question is, what sort of defense do we want to be naked? Do we want to be lightly armed? I'm going for light armor, but also heavy armor could be great because that'll get us that endurance, you know? Spears, spears. Yeah, you got it. You got it. We're doing that. Boom, spear. Okay. Heavy armor. It's already selected. I'm going to cancel that out. Heavy armor's right there. Good. So, uh, illusion is in my, or, you know what? Let's do mysticism and alteration as other favored magical skills. And then for the minor skills, I'm going to go ahead and just pick a few, and I'm curious what you folks think. Alchemy. Illusion. Mysticism. Mm. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Totally agreed. And so that's what I intend to do here, right? Um, we're still kind of building. We'll consider this like the 6.0 beta character. And since we're kind of in a reasonably good place here in terms of the setup, um, I think that, yeah, we can continue. So, yeah, I'm with you on that. Um, hey, Zach, what's up? Spears are great. They're almost too great. Agreed. Illusion is great personality. Yeah, I'm thinking also, too, do we want to have like mercantile to ha or speechcraft? And these are pretty magic-y. I'm doing it. Speechcraft, mercantile. Okay, so tell me. We got a lucky, high endurance, talkative, barter, savvy, illusion, alteration, heavy armor, spear throwing armor. Oh, wait, armor. So do we want... Hmm. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Going back to there. So then what are we doing here? We got alchemy as a miner. Do I want to keep armor, frankly? Um, I mean, because this is a good one. Personality, endurance, and strength. I always actually go with armor as a minor skill on my custom class. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I know, right? So I'm about to commit to this, I think. And we'll know soon enough, right? Boom. Oh, I need a name. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, I was going to say a hostile person. Uh, alchemical hustle, yeah. You die after, die after like three potion drinks. That's true. I I I wanted it because of the related attribute influences, but that's actually a good point. Let's junk that, and let's instead go with restoration. Because we're going to need that. Wow. Yeah, so you don't actually need the armor boost. Yeah, okay, okay, that's good feedback. So let's bump that down, and I think... I do too. I also love Alchemical Hustle for sure. It's Can't wait to see the Lua upgrade for it. Um, the question is, though, should we put Sneak as this skill right here? Give us some personality, agility, speed, so we're not snails pacing it around. All right. Going once. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Right, because I don't... I am missing... So we have to consider that we have natural character growth and decay. So to a certain degree, major and minor only matters for starting values, right? What do we want to be buffed up a little bit when we start out? And then everything else kind of just kind of collectively, you know... Um, Right, exactly. And so sneak, I think I'm going to put in there because we got Sotha's sneak boost to help us out, but we're going to need to to boost that along because we're poor, you know. All right, I think we're going with this. Going once, going twice. And I know there's a delay, so I got to wait a couple of seconds. Cheers. All 
All right. Thank you. Thank you. We're not going to write a description. Um, and also, we're going to be a non hostile person. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that Right be? back at you, Catastrophe. Um, man, something weird about the game with no music. All right. So I like to do mage, actually, and just, like, go full out so I can get uh, a lot of, you know, get that int for the Magicka boost. But also, um, you guys got me thinking about Lore uh, Lady last time and also, uh, what else? The Lover. Very tempting. That paralyze could save your butt. I don't know. For me, it's between the lover and the lady. Lady would... Hmm, it's like very hard for a magic character to not go with the lady. Yeah, I agree, Gonzo. <laughs> Todd only knows why. Thief is really good, huh? Okay, all right, let me see. Atronach, uh, this is not a popular opinion. I'm not a big fan, actually. I'm not really down with that. I don't have fun with it. Um, <laughs> I bet, yeah. Because certain stats really matter for your turns. <sighs> okay, Thief. Let's see, Sanctuary. Okay, so we are using... Uh, is this guy... <laughs> uh, yes. Let's go with yes on that. Um, race is redesigned. I forget the name of the the character race balance mod we're using but maybe this change if you're not using this one sophia maybe thief is a little bit different um i forget what the vanilla thief is or what the other mod we used was but uh hmm the sanctuary 10 points pretty good that seems like a constant effect that's pretty good mm, all right tell you what lady it is folks we need that personality boost now before i stamp these papers make sure this information oh, okay is yeah so we're using a different one that came out at the Modathon this past May. Uh, and I can't... The name escapes me. Hold up. Maybe I can pull up Emacs over here. Uh, let's see. Race is respected is what we got in here right now. And that, so far, I believe is what's going to go into 6.0. So look forward to that. And yeah, So I'm doing the lady, though, okay? We got Calix, the Argonian non-hostile person under the sign of the lady. Uh, who's got some skills. I'm pretty happy with this. I kind of wish we had a healing spell, to be honest with you. Uh, kind of, part of me kind of wants to bump mysticism down and put restoration up there. Mm. I like respected so far. Honestly, it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to bump mysticism down. Mm. Cool. And then we should have our our theo. Cool. Yeah, I feel like we're going to need that. Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. Thank you kindly. Oh, I kind of just blew past that pretty fast. Let's look at our papers, shall we? Nice paper mod uh, by our friend Mono Exhibitor. Or right, this might be Ezzy's paper. I forget, actually. Oh, okay. Interesting. I might try that because, yeah, I tried Atronek a few times at the recommendation of people, and I just didn't love it. Continue through to the next building and talk to Sullis Gravis. It felt like it was forcing me to a very particular really? pattern of play, you know, and I was just... Yeah. Hardly touched him. Huh. Interesting. Recover Magicka from Recall? That sounds Todd-rific. Todd-splendid. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, it's so great to actually play here and actually talk to you folks while I'm doing this versus last week when I was awkwardly miming. I don't like stealing from this table, actually. But I gotta say, we might need the money. So... Yeah, you can see our sneak boost going on there. Nice. Honestly, that has helped me out a lot, too. That extra couple of points you get from the sneak boost there. Really good stuff. 
Yeah, okay. I do want to try it at some point just to experience the glory of the brokenness, but um, it's not my jam usually. All right, all right, all right. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I'm curious how you folks, by the way, I'm curious how you folks handle Tar Heel. How should we handle Tar Heel? I let him fall to his death last night in my Steam Deck playthrough and uh, was pretty disappointed that he didn't have any scrolls of Icarian Flight. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I'm definitely going to try it at some point, uh, Antronac. All right, as much as I want, Stephen Fry. Up in here, we're going to... I should also mention, too, I'm using another mod. You'll note that my carry weight is super huge. I have another mod that changes the GSMT for that, um, just because, you know. Ooh, okay. Sounds good. At least we'll get a snazzy robe. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, he didn't have the scrolls of a carrying flight. I feel like that's a bug. So if that happens to us during this playthrough, we're gonna file a ticket on on GitLab and we'll fix it out and figure it out because I feel like you know, that's like blasphemous, really, to not have that. Am I using a fresh? You got it, dude. Did I modify running speed with a mod? Why, yes, I did. Hang on, I can get you the name of that mod right now. Uh, fatigue, speed, and carry weight rebalance. And that one actually should be linked to on our GitLab issue. Um, I'll throw you a link later on today, though, for sure. Use slow fall and do the quest. Okay, yeah, see, I actually haven't done the AF Fresh quest yet. Um because frankly, like, I just don't know where to get a good enough slow fall spell early enough in the game, you know? Let's go ahead and do this. If you could change lock picking with the Lua mod completely, what would you do? Would you make it fall out obli uh, lock picking, oblivion lock picking? I don't hate the fallout lock picking, but also I feel like it's not the greatest. All right, we're going to go nuts here. Oh really? Okay. Then I'm just a, I'm just a big dummy. You know, honestly, I don't really care what it is. Ooh. I never noticed this before. Hey. I don't even know. All right. I don't um I don't know what this is from. All right. Is it too Unimmersive to pull up the console and just take a peek at what the heck this is from. Ooh, okay. I'm really loving the pace at which this one's updating, by the way. Um, I feel like Vampire Quest definitely needed some love, and uh, individual that makes this mod is really putting some love into it. Awesome. Well, sheesh. We'll be coming back here. Personally, I like playing as A&A vampires, by the way. They're the more kind of magic-centric. Eh, I'll take it. I'll sell it. Whatever. So yeah, fatigue regen, movement speed, um, carry weight are a few things that I definitely look to tweak in my game just because I'm not trying to walk around like a snail everywhere, unable to carry a feather. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, um, Sophia, that one actually comes from the, the specific to save a falling wizard mod. It places the, conveniently places a scroll for you there. Um. <laughs> oh, <laughs> random mods. That would be amazing. We could do that uh, technically with the website CFG generator, my dude. Um, the latest update would allow for that. Gonzo, you should make a ticket on GitLab for uh, random mod selections on the CFG generator. We're doing this. That's a fantastic idea. <laughs> I love it. Mod roulette. All right. Yeah. So, um, I think there might be some mods, maybe MWSC mods, um, for feet coverage. By the way, I like to play third person. Um, but with my action camera swap mod, which would basically put you in first person when you're, you know, um, when I first, I made this mod as a suggestion by somebody on Discord, um, and when I first made it, I thought it would be a little jarring to play Your this way, but actually, please. I really dig playing this way, so. 
Hello, sir. <laughs> Very good. All right. Yeah. We don't uh, really have anything further to say to Mr. Sellis here. But let us... As is tradition for me, as soon as I set foot out here and I'm able to save the game, I do a ceremonial zero, number zero, save file. Are you the one that boat dropped off? Odd to see a boat arrive at that time of the day. Hey, friend. <laughs> they sure did, buddy. Here you go. All right. So we played a little bit with this one last time. We got, we kind of got to decide. Do we want to help Mr. Fargoth out? Or do we, we want to, you know... Hear Fargoth say hello. We don't have to do, decide right now, but who's this unsavory looking character? Uh, hey there. I'm glad to see you. Oh my goodness. I'm All right. Oscar, Enough of that. Of modern, open and that guy. I Oof. I just wanted the book. Which, uh, again, dedicated to my friend Atuelpa. Um, look forward to the update that's coming out um, with uh, some amazing updates by our friend Herdrax. Thank you so much for all the work on that, my friend. Let's get this yeah. over with. What <laughs> do you want? If all you're right. looking to get out of Seda Neen, I'll be happy to give you a little advice. Why, thank you, sir. That's a new one. I gotta say, I love the pace at which Von Jango's updating this one. And I feel like it's not like I'm a annoyed, like when I'm playing Fallout 3 or Oblivion or New Vegas even, like patrolling the Mojave makes you wish for a nuclear winner. You know, you're going to hear that like every five minutes and it's going to drive you insane. But I don't actually, uh, ooh, Johnny Echo, huh? Oh, okay. No, <laughs> I get you. Whoosh, slowpoke me. Um, I don't feel I get that from Django's quest voice dialogue mod. Like, I love every little bit I hear. Um, so, yeah, give me some advice, my friend. Thank you. All right. I may go talk to her. Thank you. All right. Let's run around. Right off the bat. I'm missing a little bit of health, and I wonder if that's a conflict between natural character, growth and decay, and Sophus combat mod. If you mod. can't afford decent clothing, I'm not sure we should be talking. He doesn't like me because of my pants. Chill out, buddy. <laughs> I gotta tell you, it's hard to find pants with a hole for a tail. Okay. Welcome to Aril's Trade House. I'm Aril, publican and proprietor. You're a new face here, so if you want a little advice, free to new customers, just ask. <laughs> right? Try wearing my pants for a day, okay? There's a hole in the butt. They came to What's really crazy is when you play the uh, game without the various dialogue mods that we have, you know, and just like the flair everybody's added is outstanding. I've got a note here, too. You tend to have a good disposition with a real, but oh, that's pretty good. 78. He's going to be my dude I sell crap to. Howdy. I don't have a lot of patience for questions, Outlander. Fair enough. Note the outstanding normal maps uh, for OAAB data, and we can see on the carpet there, you can see a little bit of like how the light is affecting the, the carpet. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. You can also see a little bit of the effect on all the OAAB data stuff. Um, mad props to Static Nation and Detail Devil. I thank you so much. You look like you could use a friend, Probably. Outlander. Perhaps I can be your friend. I'd like you to help me recover some gold. Okay, fine mouse. AFS, AFS quest. Okay. Uh, so let's do this conversation, and we'll we'll, we'll go in that direction. I agree, though, Redrex. Um, I'm gonna, you know, since we're Fargoth's buddy. I'm gonna tell him no. I'm gonna tell him to piss off. <laughs> piss off, Riskar. But also, because if you haven't been playing with Quest Voice dialogue, you gotta hear what he says after this. Let's back up a little bit. Give him a chance to. Here we go. Alright, we'll walk away again. This guy. Hello. 
doesn't look like trouble to me. Oh, my sweet love, she waits for me. Through Are you gonna talk to me again? And shine across land or sea. I run to her and maybe we can manage to do this one. We sway as we kiss, sway as we kiss. A graceful shape. All right. And yeah, normally I don't play with the water shader off, but just for the sake of, uh, you know, until I uh, sort out my hardware and coding. Being in the Linux camp here, I don't have uh, hardware and coding on the stream right now. That's why it was lagging pretty bad when I did 1440p. It's all CPU encoding. So, um, so find Mouse a fresh quest. Herdrax, help me out here. I'm gonna go looking for the tax man, and you need to refresh me on where I go for that one. What stranger? Oh yeah, good call. Thank you, Smallio, delivering with the coffee. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's a two pots kind of a day. Yeah, sweet. Thank you. Cheers, everybody. Ooh, this is too hot. Okay, okay. I feel you. I know where to go now. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. Mad props to Doug Goodall. What can I say? Alright, so unfortunately, I, because I've just been testing this so much, I happen to basically know all the locations where the tax man will spawn, and I kind of just go to and fro. No, no, Sector, I don't. So, I'm in, I'm in the... Long story short, I'm a a spurned AMD fanboy whose next graphics card is going to be NVIDIA because guess what? On Linux, NVIDIA has hardware encoding and always has. No need for bending over backwards and crap, you know. Um, Setiness was kind enough to hook me up with his configuration for hardware encoding on Arch. But it's like I got to build a custom package of OBS and, like, get the proprietary AMD Vulkan implementation. This is all this work, and next graphics card is going to be NVIDIA. I hate to say it. I just want to, I want it to work good, you know, give me the frames, I don't care how you made the driver, yeah, yeah, WTF is right, it's sad, and all you Windows people are like scratching your head right now, what are you talking about, you don't even want to know, okay, <laughs> I will say though, to the credit of AMD, the hardware they produce for Valve and the drivers on the Steam Deck, pretty good, pretty, pretty good. All right, let me find this tax man. And while we're out, we're going to need to collect some crab meat for my favorite uh, Dunmer fisherman who hangs out here in St. Denis. He tends to talk a bit much, but you know. Wow, so okay, what do I got here in terms of... Uh, Didn't I have some kind of a... I thought I had a... I guess I'd get the walker, water walking... Here we go. Yeah, this thing. I thought one of these came from my race. Um, and I think it must be this because it doesn't have a magic school on there. Oh, wow. Nice. That's crazy. 4090. Okay. That's awesome. I'm jealous. Gets there tomorrow. I'm hyped for you. I decided I'm going to wait probably till next year to get a new graphics card, but I do want to go that route. Um, and by the way, if you're not using Ground Coverify, here's a quick plug for that. This is a vanilla fern, and you'll note that it's bending with the grasp. That's because I use Benjamin Winger's Ground Coverify script, which will read your plugins that you have installed and give you ground cover for all the things that should be ground cover magically. It's awesome. Going to be in 6.0 for sure. And we're going to be providing educational material to help people use it because it is a Python script. So you're going to need to have working Python on Windows and all that stuff. Uh, howdy, friend. All right. Here's another possible spot for my poor, poor friend. Not here. Okay. <laughs> I 
right? It did just, I kind of, it was worthy to put skill into the destruction, I think. There's my friend over there. He's going to want six crab meats, if I remember correctly. Ooh. And I did, I should mention too, I did generate a nav mesh DB last night. Um, so we should pre be pretty fresh, not have any lagging due to nav mesh. Um, we got a guy hiding in the bushes here. <laughs> We're going to sneak by him though. We're not ready to do that quest just at this moment. All right. Oh, my favorite friend, the angry worm. Whoa, two of them. My lucky day. The aforementioned Steam Deck play where I had somebody assault me immediately upon leaving the census and excise office also had a dead corpse right here. It was like raining gear for me. I felt so lucky. And now we're just like, <laughs> we're slumming it up over here. But yeah, there's a, you know, if you haven't played AF Fresh, tons of reasons to stick around Satanine now and, like, talk to people, right? Well, look at this guy. I'm gonna leave him alone. Uh, yeah, tons of reasons to st uh, stick around, talk to people. In fact, we're gonna see one now. We're gonna try to get ourselves a new pair of pants. Thanks to our friend Doug Goodall. Interesting to note how the uh, ambient occlusion kind of renders underneath the, the water strangely. I could probably turn the water shader on, but yeah, we just, you know, let's do a really quick sciency look. I think so. Yep. I think that's the one by Random Pal. Yep. And that is a 6.0 edition for sure. I've been playing with it and I love it. I actually love what it does to rats. Makes them smaller, they move around more like rats, kind of, instead of like giant slow things. WTF, what's I doing? Okay. So, yeah. Doesn't hurt us right here, actually. Too much, maybe? It, yeah, you know, it's that's an uncomfortable drop, unfortunately. Uh, maybe I'll spend some time this weekend, though, trying to get hardware encoding to work. Uh, Settiness has the same graphics card as I do, I believe. Uh, and he's got it going, so there's a way. I just got to, again, recompile OBS specifically. All right. It does look great. And then there's that ripple, right? Am I right? The ripple. Whew. The ripple is so good. And then we can get waves and have all that nice stuff. Ooh, succulent, thickle low. I love this mod so much. That model is so cool. It makes me want to take a bite, honestly. Taxman, Taxman. Highly recommend Taxman Expanded Mod, by the way, if you didn't try it. I don't think I'm going to add it to lists. But it's a very interesting take on the quest, and I love the dungeon design. Excellent dungeon design. Not over here, okay. Hmm. Well, in any case, we need to torch a few more crabs. And I don't think I have a hard stop today right at one, if you folks don't. So, took us a while to get going, so, you know, I just got to mow the lawn at some point today. Uh, and I'm working on the trees in my front yard, too. Put mulch in, chipping out an edge. A V edge. Wow. Here I was bragging about knowing where he spawns. <laughs> I know I missed one though. Hold on. And again, I'll plug uh, that I did make a tweaked version of the random tax man mod. 
Hey, Fane, hey, what's up? I did make a patched version of the Random Tax Man mod and uh, jive a little bit more nicely with uh, Detail Devil's Shipyards of Vardenfell mod. And then I moved one other unrelated spawn point that just I thought was a little awkward. And I'll be sharing that with everybody for 6.0. We're looking in the crab meat department. Ooh, we're good. All right. Let's make our way back here. Some lovely exteriors here. Okay. Uh, interesting. I have Deus Ex, and I've played it a couple of times. This is one of those classic ones I really need to give a spin. I think there's a Foss engine for that one. Dark engine? Maybe? Oh, here we go. Here we go. The poor, poor guy. Well, shall we? Just love this work by Glitter Gear. Really fancy, cool stuff. You're going to see Glitter Gear's exteriors basically all over, and it's magnificent. Okay. Oh, yeah. Unreal V1. Yeah. <laughs> I do, as a matter of fact. Antonius Perkis to hire me as a guard. Okay, that seems like a risky, spicy proposition because I'm an Argonian, but I'll keep it in mind. Also want to note some other mods we got in the mix. Let's take a quick look here at the oh-so-fabulous script settings menu, and you can just see the Lua lineup. No joke. We got an awesome showing as usual from Soltha's excellent combat compendium. But then just a bunch of other good stuff, including notably, uh, where we go here, Ferris's Magic of Regeneration. And one of the offerings in 6.0 is going to be a gameplay configuration Lua mod where I automatically tweak various Lua mods with certain settings uh, that I feel work well with the setup. Uh, and one of the tweaks, I think the default on this one is like, it might actually be 1.0 and as you can see i've dropped it down quite a bit because i don't want absolutely no magic of regeneration but i don't want to like be you know just feeling the need agreed you know combat pack is must have in my load order you know even my bare bones mod list will have it period um so anyway yeah just be on the lookout for that uh, the momw gameplay script coming your way and it's going to tweak basically every lua mod that is tweakable for you um that needs tweaking Right, me too. It's cool. And again, that the sneak boost that you get does make a difference, because especially when you're in the low levels of sneak, you know, like 15, I feel like, wow, that's pretty high. Uh, okay. Somebody please tell me what I need to do with this. Oh, wait, here Come we go. Come on, I haven't got all day. You're returning my family ring. How he asked you to spy on me and you refused. Thank you. You're a true friend. Now, I strongly encourage you to download AF Fargoth and maybe take the classic route of siding with Riskar. And I'm really curious what happens to you, because I feel like I got not a great ending. Spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. End of a branch here. I feel the wild's coming on. If Riskar isn't stealing things from me or shoving me around, he's talking outlanders into doing his dirty work. Do you know how many people ended up in jail because they did what Riskar asked them to do? Sorry. Not any of your business. I just needed to let a few arrows fly. Poor Fargoth. You don't have one? All right. But also tell me. Yeah, you know, but I got to say, you try AF Fargoth and uh, maybe try the siding with Riskar side. And uh, it was a bit of a moment for me. What can I say? <laughs> All right, uh, thank you for the tip, buddy. I'll go talk to Socutius right now. And while we're in here, too, we're going to talk to this guy a little bit about Riskar. 
Leave Fargoth alone. I haven't much time, so be quick about this. Okay. I mean, it's like so pointless to do that. Who does that? Same to you. <laughs> I had to whelp. I like the way your mind works, brother. I still wish we could have gotten to share the, the happy meter with everybody. That's an idea I'm sad had to die, but uh, maybe someday. What stranger? Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk to you about that. I'm not going there. So what I love here is that he suggests there's something here with Hriskar's connections. I love the writing here that he kind of like starts to paint this picture like that there's some conspiracy to protect him. Uh, and how the story plays out. No spoilers. Do Fire Moth at level one. Brutal. <laughs> uh, I think that would be a bad time. Although I do have my Curb Your Death mod, so at least we could laugh when the theme song for Curb Your Enthusiasm plays after we die. All right. I don't know what they are. I mean, this sounds pretty ominous, right? <sighs> Almost seems to, like, confirm he's being protected from above. And if you haven't played the mod, I'll stop there. <laughs> TGM, yeah, I mean, we could do that. Maybe we'll go there. All right. Let's go deliver Thanks the... again for returning my family Wait ring. gods, you tourists are a nuisance. Oof, yeah, see, I should, totally should have gave this guy a hello. I wasn't even thinking. Um, the next update will take care of that. Don't worry. What makes this smell? <laughs> Do I really smell? Hey, friendo. You talk too much, Outlander. So, this is some great writing right here, and I'm not going to pause too much for it, but it, yeah, if you haven't read this, just all the writing in AF Fresh is like a gift. Oh, uh, by the way, will you sign my petition to evict Riskar from town? Thank you so much. That's right, we're doing this. We're getting him kicked out. Uh, I know Aril would be totally down. Oh, and, and... No, I don't think so. Uh-huh, remember our friend, the floating fire? That's another one we gotta fix. Didn't quite get there yet. All right, but here's how we do it for now. Away, floaty thing. I sure did. Uh, I don't know if it's too incompatible. We're going to find out. That's the whole point of me doing my Steam Deck run, right? I've just, like, without prejudice, added things that might be dubiously compatible, and we're just going to kind of see what's broken. I feel like any incompatibility on that one would not be unfixable. You know, like, NPC conflict here or item placement there. You know, I feel like we could, yeah. I'm looking forward to it, honestly. Totally looking forward to it. And I feel like, yeah, it would be worth patching if it isn't too crazy of an effort, you know. So, yeah, it's in there. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh, come on, lady. All right. She'll sign that petition. And she'll give us a quest. But we're going to need some skills before we go do that one. Okay. Well. Where's that slave? You're not long ago. Gotcha. Okay, that's good to know. And uh, uh, we have 
tools at our disposal right now to see uh, those kinds of conflicts. So we'll deep dive in there and figure it out. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> friends don't let friends play with the console. All right, let's have some of this coffee here. All right, well, um, this is another place where I like to save. <laughs> no, no, totally not. Where's my chameleon spell? Say what you want or go away. This guy. Chill out, bro. <clears throat> so normally I have conjuration, and I will summon my ancestral ghost to help me out here. This might be a little bit of a spicy fight. And I think I might run outside if he punches me too much. That's because that's going to be the problem, right? You. Uh, and if you would have selected this, he would have been like, yeah, I don't know about that. Because, of course, Foreign's totally not cool. I'm sorry. He needs to chill out. Killing a guy? Come on. Wow, I'm out of magic. Here we go. <laughs> You're mine. No shame. I have you. Although I gotta say, where's this hound? Die, Richard. Yeah, you like that. You will die. Bummer. So that's a new take on approaching this. <laughs> only necessary that we take his pants right when he's supposed to summon a hound too we have the guard hounds mod um I mean, i'm taking all of this hmm interesting oh yeah the dunmer males have like the ken doll thing going on versus having the underwear it's a feature of better bodies i, I don't have a lot of patience moments. for questions outlander Whew. Oh, and so another thing I mentioned, auto-configuration Lua mod. Another thing I tweak, though, is uh, I tweak downward the um, magic shader. Though I think I honestly need to tweak it even a little further because it's kind of, you know, I'm going to set it to 24 for now. Um, but yeah, when you're like totally empty on Magicka, you want a little bit of an effect. And last time I reduced the point lighting intensity. I didn't actually save that change. We may need to do that, too. Speak quickly. That was one of those once you can't. Once you see it, you can't unsee it, things. All right. So, well, you know what? I need a better shirt, honestly, so don't judge me. Oh, I see. Okay, Zach. Good call out there. Hmm. I'll have to test that. Should be fixable if that's the case. I don't have a lot of patience for questions, Outlander. Gonzo, if you actually want to note that as an issue, that would be cool. We should, we definitely want to look into that. Uh, here we go. Take the ring. Poor lady. Thank you kindly. All right, we need people to support our petition. I swear there was somebody out here, a lady. Not these two. They won't do it. Too much trouble. Must be going now. Not this guy. He will just be yeah. friends and foes. NPCs don't know about the haps around here. <sighs> if you can't afford decent clothing, I'm not sure we should be talking. Oh, we were just messing with them. Let's get this over with quickly. Yeah, good call. She will sign the petition. You but will there is another, not Elderfire. Thank you. I usually go about there with five. I think I can go and get two inside a real straight house. 
and on the way there, I can get your guys' opinion about a patch I made. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Hergex. Identify yourself. Of course, Aril, happy to... Care to oh, yes, hello. I don't think so. uh, it's getting a little crowded in here. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I know the little fetcher's got a hiding place somewhere in town. So. Just not sure where yet. Okay, the little fetcher, he says. I love that. There's something not right about I only have a few more. Maybe you should go. Oh, you know what? I love the latest rumors over here this guy has. Half to visit the house of earthly delights. the <laughs> same. Yeah, wait. Why you got my shirt? This is awkward. <laughs> I know the little fetcher's got a hiding place. See, now he's very happy to say the line, but before I was like waiting. Yeah, a friend, exactly. Whatever you're looking for, I'm sure I don't. The hidden quest, oh. Am I being a slowpoke? Okay, I think, yeah, okay. Let's go I talk to uh, our friend over here now. as well. He will sign, that's right. There's a certain Argonian over here, I believe, who will sign our petition as well. I forgot Get about him. Out or hit the road. Hey, buddy. This scent is new. Oh. <laughs> this is a good quest. This is the one her drags was talking about. about this let's go and sell some junk and try and get some kind of a clothing situation going on here so we're not just running around with t-shirt and pants what is it peasant yep. talk with you something tells me i might regret it spit it out or hit the road is it necessary that you speak with me Sell, sell, sell. Mm, mm, must sell. Sell all the junk. Click my reward though. Uh, the Welcome for the Welcome. next one. So let's go do that. This if guy. you're here for a chit chat. Oh dear. Cool. Why must the poor ones always come to me? <sighs> I gotta say, though, using real disposition, you do hear all of these, like, mean dialogues, right, that you would never hear normally. <laughs> they put a lot of time into that. I only have for it to never be used in the game. Thanks it's kind of hilarious. Thanks again for returning my family ring. Where'd you get those you betcha. clothes? Off a corpse? Uh, yes, I did, in fact. <laughs> Whew. Too funny. Okay, so let's go this way first. I don't like the look that out there. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I'm gonna go up here real quick. Climb the ladder. Very good. 
Where did you find those clothes? Everybody hates my pants. Yeah, he's legit hostile, you could say. I don't even know that guy. I have a feeling we're not going to need that pretty soon. Then they came from the seas, folded steel in their oh, so the question is, do I even bother? Because where I'm going, I just might find some stuff. Okay. Given that money is scarce in this setup, we're going to go in just with a t-shirt, actually. Forget it. Let's go. Looking for a smuggler's cave. And we're looking for a nicer pair of pants, believe it or not. Hmm. I swore there was a place over here. Wait. Yeah, sure is, huh? Like, just look at the shadow. <laughs> Yikes. I mean, it's a hard surface, I guess, according to the how the shadows view the world. It's a little awkward. Since we're going out here, maybe we can turn the water shader back on and bask in the glory of ripples. Uh -huh. Pretty good. Wow, we're quite a ways off the beaten path here. All right, I need my frames back. And just look at what's over here. Look at all this. You may remember last week, we got attacked by bats over there. Seriously. <laughs> ah, interesting. I don't know, do you see that? There's like a corpse walker in the water over there. Do you see that? Yeah, it's uh, it's an ash ghoul. I think I noticed that before. Hang on, we gotta go check this out. So that's not right. No, 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 that is a stalker. Right? Or no, it's one of those noseless, faceless guys. Oh, interesting. Thank you for that detail, Devil. It's a feature, not a bug. It just works. We wanted him there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry about that. Bumped the mouse. I think this is our cave. Yes, I agree. Somebody needs to make a quest about that. We need lore. Oop. Right? Oh, my. I feel like this guy should be attacking me. I am so not ready to be here. Oh boy. Hi. No? By the gods, you tourists are a nuisance. Oh, okay, you don't hate me. Sounds like an interesting cat. Um, wow. And one of the discussions that Gonzo, Herdrex, right. and I have been having ongoing is about the Caverns revamp mod, which is what you're seeing here. Beautiful. Uh, whoa ho! We'll get to that in a minute. Yikes. 
Healed elsewhere. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Dice, Just one more blast, that's all I need. Surrender now, and I might let you live. It's a pretty nice piece of armor you got there. Take that! I gotta say, this Argonian has taken a beating pretty well. <laughs> I feel like we need the Benny Hill music playing right now. <laughs> the Benny Hill theme song. All right, you're dead. Yeah, agreed, Sector. The luck. Sophia knows what's up, apparently. The luck. I have never made luck one of my favorite skills, and there's something to that. I had a feeling we were going to have luck. Where did his corpse go? I need that armor, man. He, like, physics somewhere. Oh, wait, here it is, in the grass. All right. Okay, steel rapier. We don't want that. This, we do want. Get a little bit of an armor rating going on. And yeah, the magic sounds. I think it's a good touch. I think there's some Skyrim magic sounds in here, too. I think Illusion makes the, the Skyrim sound. Ah, well, so perhaps in vanilla, yes. Uh... Luck is calculated, especially with natural character growth, growth and decay, which we are using, of course. Uh, it's factored in by all of the attributes. And uh, yeah, here's just a quick look at the skill progress menu. All right, well, let's go back into that cave. Hmm? Just appreciate that sunset, too. Wow, like with the, the low magic blur, makes it really intense. I'm going to have a sip of coffee here. Also, I think I'm gonna have to always play with luck. I think this has been a game changer for me, like eye-opening. It's been like the missing link for my weak mage characters. Okay. So not having a weapon is gonna be pretty problematic for me. However, We have a decently high endurance and a good amount of fatigue. So I don't know. Maybe I can try and mess around with this thing. Yeah, that's not too bad. I'm looking at my fatigue, you know. All right, we'll rock this thing for now. I'll save it again. I should just hit F5. I'm used to being on my Steam Deck. I haven't mapped quick save to a key on there just because I need the keys for other things. All right. Let's not get caught off guard again. I was talking about the Caverns revamp mod. You can see in here. And just the... I love the detail on this mod. Normal maps look so sweet. But there's some awkward conflicts, you know, and I think it's just You're one of those cases where... All right, buddy, chill. I think it's one of those cases where we right. just... uh we got to take the good with the bad, you know. And somebody who's skilled with, uh, you know, working with meshes, somebody who knows Blender, can maybe go in there and fix them or whatever. But that's, uh, that's above my pay grade. All right, so, again, we're here looking for two things. We're looking for a friend, and we're looking for a fishing rod. want to say, just by looking at it, this cave is affected by mines and caverns, because it's 
got the sun rays in there. I got plants in here. This totally is the style of that author. And I love it. I'm tempted to just take this. Make it a little darker. I think there's somebody down here. I think the fishing rod is here somewhere. Whoop. And we'll note there's a bit of a shiny texture on the wood here. Thank you. Yeah. I uh I gotta say it's the Caverns Revamp mod by SVNR. Again, it's beautiful, utterly beautiful. Just has a couple awkward conflicts um but i think that the good of the mod vastly outweighs you know the awkwardness and it's worth tossing in um, we did remove caverns bump map though after some deliberation uh just because of some janky results that it produced you know um and i think we're better off honestly that is one that can definitely be retired uh-oh hi oh no This guy wants to dance. So we run outside again. Shoot. What happened? I got stuck. Oh, sunset looks so good. Hey, buddy. Chill. I'm a little scared to use a potion right now. No choice. Oh, the music isn't playing, so we're not even going to hear it. Thank you for that, Herdrex. So the decor would be from Mines and Caverns, and yeah, the textures from Caverns Revamped. Wow. So we're going to witness a 0 0.49 bug, actually, when I reload the game, um, which is, yeah, look at that. Whoa. Um, for whatever reason, the point lighting just goes nutso. Um, yeah. I should file a bug about that. We need to reproduce it with just, uh, just OpenMW and the Zester's shaders. Um, they can, yeah, thank you, Detail Devil. Actually, with my, uh, um, gameplay config script, I think I'm going to turn the, all of the pop-ups off, because they're a little immersion-breaking, um, to look at this another time i don't remember which one it's from it the good call out detail devil i should disable those um but yeah anyway we gotta reboot morrowind to fix to reboot OpenMW to fix this unfortunately but yeah it is strangely let's just look over here it's like wow <laughs> what can i say so let's exit out Thank you. Did I look right at that? I am blind. Thank you, Detail Double. We'll get back in game and switch that one off. All right. I'll be honest with you folks. I don't think I'm prepared to get <laughs> to rescue our friend out of here. I don't think I'm ready to fight this guy. I need to get out of here. Um, but first, let's... Uh... Uh, so changing the point glow intensity would probably... I imagine there's something that is like not getting properly reset when the game is loaded. Um, but next time I die, we'll try that.
There we go. Yep. since we're here let's go ahead and uh by default yeah so that's what i'm probably gonna end up doing in my gameplay config mod i'm just gonna uh, you can totally do it with a little bit of lua code for sure so i'm gonna do that Thank you for calling that out. All right, well, we got a GTFO, folks. That guy's going to kill me, so I got to come back after I level up a little bit. On your way. It definitely looks better with the point lighting turned down a little bit. Ooh, I think it's going to be nighttime a little bit. Loading the exterior for the first time here. My GPU is starting to sweat a little bit. Here we go. I almost want to just like drain my magic so I can get a little bit of that low magic shader on. I needed to, I swear. Pretty good. Okay, well, let's go back to town. I need to, oh, I know, let's go, uh, let's get Briskar evicted. That'll get us a little bit more money, and we can go look at a very beautiful swamp shack while we're on the way there. And we can discuss a patch I made, and I can get you guys feedback. A mod gem entry, the Draggletail Shack, is what we're going to approach here, and... Part of the story of the Draggletail Shack is that it is being offered for a ridiculously low price. 1500 gold in vanilla Morrowind, not really that much money. That's pretty low for a whole house. But in our setup, 1500 is like, that's a, that's a lot, you know? Um, so I thought we need a patch that changes, adjusts the Draggletail Shack to still be like cheap. So I cheapened it down to 500 gold. Which is still a lot, but it's not like 1,500. You know, 1,500 again in this setup here is just like... You know, I wouldn't be able to just buy a crappy shack with that. I would need to, like, make sure I loot a bit more. So I'm curious if you folks think 1,500 to 500 is an okay adjustment. Should I leave it at 1,500? Um, you know, what's, a, what's an appropriate balance for that? Because, I, again, I was trying to trying to make it work with our setup, you know. The mod says that it's cheap and it's like actually expensive. It didn't work, so I made it. I made a change. I made the executive decision. Let's go there. It'll be beautiful to see it at nighttime too. Yeah. All right. There's super low magic shader now. Just look at that sunset with those super low magic shader. Pretty good. Get a little glimpse of Frostmouth over there. Hang on. Just for the eye candy factor, we got to. <sighs> Pretty nice. And I just love them volumetric clouds. Really ties the room together, I would say. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. Okay. Now that I wasted all my magic, let's hope somebody else doesn't want to kill me on our way over there. Which is a... It's likely. Yeah, okay, that's good feedback. Thank you, Sophia. I think, um... We could throw more. I was thinking throwing more house mods in, but also, like, maybe cycling them in and out, you know? And definitely giving more visibility. Because I feel like, yeah, especially with uh, all the great designers we have out there now, we're seeing a lot of cool house mods. And yeah, Draggletail, pretty good. We're talking like master level cluttering here. I haven't much time, so 
Be quick about this. Caius Casade's cousin, Mordain, apparently. Oh, you know what? Every time I'm restarting the game, the music is turning back on. And speaking of player homes, if you don't use the abandoned shack, the abandoned flat, which is the first mod of anything I ever used, you wouldn't have this. If you're wondering where does this come from, Johnny, that's abandoned flat. <laughs> I got you, Altario. <laughs> Sophia, that's a good point, though. There could be a lot of new houses and quests in general in TR. There's lots of room out there. That is a very good point. And I feel like we need a mod. We need maybe a refresh of um, Texafornian's uh, random start mod that'll put you in TR. You know, we need like a charge end that will put you in TR. I want to see that. I assume Eltariel, you're using the fabulous Raylan Lalo Manor mod, of course. So I don't know if I'm going to buy the Draggletail Shack just yet, but we're going to get take a peek at it here because it's exquisite. Uh, Howdy, friend. What, Outlander? Why do you disturb me? We'll go on the first person here for this so you can see in its glory. I can't go in, I don't think. Yeah, it's locked up. And, uh, yeah, frankly, 500 gold is a bit of a swing for me right now. Perhaps eventually. All this beautiful clutter, though. It's nighttime, so you can't see it quite as well, but... Yeah, just lovely. Oh, okay. Huh. Which uh, quest mod is that, Sophia? I would like to know about that. We could toss that in for 6.0. Alright. Cool. Cool. Plug it up. I need it. Let me know which mod that is. Sometimes an angry person over here. No, looking good. Okay. <clears throat> and so you're going to get a nice look at the Ministry of Truth uh, mod that we're adding in 6.0. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for the plug. I appreciate that. I will be checking that out, but there you go. There's the new Ministry of Truth mod. And was and Mushrooms. Speaking of exquisite. Looking pretty good, I gotta say. And of course, BCOM, just really improving Evan Hart over here. Nice. Anything you want to share would be kind of cool to know from the project we know and love.
you know what? And since we're here, I wanted to mention this to you folks. I feel like we need another, we need a mod, sort of how MD made the Hackle Low replacer. We need a mod that focuses on the cork bulb. Because this model is great, but it's got some like alpha issues with the extremities of the leaves. I want to see a cork bulb replacer mod. Please. Detail double, that's a good call out. Um, that's unfortunate too. Um, we're going to have to, if you happen to know of like specific cells where that happens, otherwise, yeah, I feel like that's going to be a case by case thing we'll have to patch it should be easy patch um but nonetheless that's the kind of thing where we've talked about before can we fix things like that with lua automatically right like can we de can we detect that something is like like specifically two objects that should be on top of one another that they're not you know um zach is that doable am i crazy am i smoking skooma over here come on let's, let's get, get this over with quick, quickly <laughs> that was pretty come on i haven't got all day you know okay not that time wow we can't move objects added by tra i would want to try it before i say that with any certainty Cool. That sounds exciting. Thank you for that tidbit, Altario. What stranger? Wow, where am I going? What's wrong with me? I'm like on autopilot here. We're trying. Come Wait, on. No, I no, no, no. I'm going the right way. You know. Remember, we're here to deliver our petition to get Riskar kicked out of town for our brother Fargo. Ever considered joining the Legion? No, I have not considered joining the Legion. Why should I do that? Just look at this interior. Armor stand asset, I think, from OA80 data. Stone I table. I you're looking for a tavern. I'm sure I can get you. Ooh, wow, that sounds awesome. Yeah, Legion's okay. I usually do the Legion um, just to just to be a doing it if I want to do it, you know. You talk Make to my Algarian. Some swanky. I, I haven't am checked Varys him out in Vantinius, the knight of the Imperial Dragon. That makes me the head of the Imperial Legion here in Bardenfell. I think he wants to fight. All right, anyways. Thankfully, I've done this quest a few times. Make it quick. So I know where to go. Um, but it's like, you know, kind of tricky to find this dude if you're not really persistent or paying very close attention. I don't have a lot of patience for questions, Outlander. That's a sweet head. I only have a few moments. Nice. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you, Altario. Always appreciate that kind of love. All right, here's our guy. Hey, wait, where'd you go, bro? Come on, I haven't got all day, you know. All right. He's out. Ha, ha, ha. And what's funny is I won't um, click on it now. But if you do this quest, I highly encourage you to ask Cavortius about Hriskar's connections. And it's just a little neat tidbit of the writing in this mod, you know. Very nice. Okay, well... Come on, I haven't got so all that'll, day, you know. You know, that boosted us up quite a bit, uh, money-wise, and Fargoth hey, might be happy that we helped him out. So let's head back there, at the very least. Normally, when I'm playing, I kind of put off the main quest, but I feel like for this playthrough, we're going to go to the Come main on, quest and do it, because day, frankly, we need what it offers us. We need some loot. 
I am busy, so if you will excuse me. Look at this guy. That's a pretty sweet guard outfit. I'm not sure what's on his face. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe that's looking as intended. Let's get this over with quickly. I am very tempted, though, instead of going back to Sedanine. Should we take another... What time is it? 10 p.m.? Let's take a I midnight walk day, you know. and look at some of the new landscapes that you we're going to add in 6.0 from our friend Glitter Gear. And this little stretch... Oh, yeah. Oh, like, that looks like a weird conflict, too, by the way. Did I do something wrong? Maybe there's a load order. It looks like we got some landscape here that's conflicting. But anywho, this little peninsula has been filled out really nicely. Take the chest from the boat. Wait, which one? Did I miss something? Back in Ebonheart? It's funny, everybody knows about goodies, different goodies in this game. That one? We'll come back that way. I gotta put it into first person. Just so you can see the excellent detail here. All the beautiful clutter, little shrooms, flowers, everything. Oh, wow, okay, interesting. Yeah, right, Gonzo, for sure. Everything's just like a little bit more streamlined. Uh, Doing things hand placed, you know, takes a bit more time and it can go wrong a lot more easily potentially, but the end result could be better. Yeah, here we are, all this clutter. Um, can't wait until we can have the distant fire there on uh, Concept Art Palace. Should pop in any moment here. Yeah, agreed, Gonzo. Agreed. Come on, give me fire. There we go. Did I hear somebody go, huh? I think I did. Anyways. Detail Devil, let's talk more. Feel free to hit me up on Discord. Um, and I totally love your idea about uh, Detail Devil and I were talking about earlier today about a subject Herdrex Gonzo and I talked a little bit about, which was a total, total overhaul where we make a few changes to insert those ro Rocky West Gash, Rocky Red Mountain, uh, uh, Mabrigash, uh, no, that's not the user's name, but um, I'm sorry, I forget their name, but they have made a bunch of beautiful Rocky mods. Um, and we were thinking about making a list that kind of centers around them, but like they're very expensive assets to use, and so you would want to have a really high-end machine before you did that, um, and also the conflicts. Uh, I was trying to play with uh, Rocky Red Mountain on my Steam Deck, Spines of Madness is another one. Yeah, thank you, Detail Devil. I was playing with Rocky Red Mountain on my Steam Deck, and, like, the moment I approached Ghostgate, it would crash because I was out of VRAM. You know, that thing has only got, I think, 12 gigs of RAM, and then they have one gig swap space, which is a page file for you Windows folks. Um, and, yeah, just, like, loading the Ghostgate area was enough to overload the Steam Deck and make me run out of VRAM. So, really, that's, like, a strictly for powerful machines set up but it's something i want to explore for sure this li uh lighthouse vivek light li lighthouse mod is really cool though um and in 6.0 we're adding both the vivek lighthouse mod and a quest that goes along with it and all the clutter that uh, glitter gear put here um so tastefully all right you know what let's go for a water walk yes absolutely absolutely 
For sure. Herdrax and Gonzo might be able to speak a little bit more about some of the plans we're talking about, but uh, having straight up new mod list, you know, I still want to do that shit posting mod list. <laughs> the Elder Scrolls 6 mod list with McDagos. No, but seriously, something around like Arc Twend would be great. We have a Starwind mod list already. Absolutely. Any and all ideas you got, either talk to me on Discord in the channel, um, message me directly, or open an issue on GitLab would be the best thing. And just detail out what you want to do, you know, and uh, we're certainly open to it. Absolutely. The more the better, really. Just uh, the only thing about any mod list we do, we want to make sure that we support it and we keep it updated, you know. We don't want to just make something and then kind of just, you know, keep supporting it, so. Yes. Okay, just walking in the weeds here. Outstanding sky, I just love it. I don't know about you folks. And the fireflies, and I'm just lost and I don't really care. <laughs> also, somebody needs to mow this grass. Someday we'll have the lawn mowing mod yet. Right, we need a new grass system where you can paint the grass on the terrain so there's no, you know, placement problems. But we also need the API to be powerful enough that we can write a Lua mod where you can mow the grass. And that, you know, that'll be a joke mod for sure, but also a fun demonstrate technical demonstration, you know. And I'm thinking of uh, the game No More Heroes where you have the lawn mowing minigame. Totally what I'm inspired by. <laughs> yes, exactly, Smallio. That's the spirit. Yeah, I'm with you, Sophia. Like, uh, <laughs> it's so fun to just pop in here and, like, kind of get lost. It's great on the Steam Deck, too. I'm, like, in bed, half asleep, like, drooling. I do actually turn the water shedder off on my Steam Deck just because I need those extra frames. And on my Steam Deck, I got the view distance pulled in. I got object paging min size cranked up. All right. Oh, it's... It's 1 o'clock, but like I said, we're not on a strict schedule here. I probably won't be able to go for too much longer. I'm thinking maybe another 30 minutes at least, uh, but I do got to get outside and mow the grass. And I need more coffee, and I might have to... Encoding overloaded. Okay, yeah, wow. I'm, I'm noticing a message on OBS here. So I guess my project for the next week is to get hardware encoding working. And then, yeah, we'll get a new graphics card at some point. Let me know how you like that 4090, Sophia. I'm sure that's going to be awesome. And just love this scene here, you know. Walking up on Satanine. I got a little bit of film grain. You know, we should have done this right off the bat, but let me just go over the shaders I got. And I noted there was like a discussion on Discord about shaders and shader ordering. And I'm pretty confident that the order I have here is the one that you want. All right. Yeah, take it easy. See you later. Have a good day. Thank you for tuning in and happy modding. Um, I'm pretty confident that this shader order is good. Um, okay. That's interesting feedback. Yeah, landscape texture replacer for BC. You showed me that one. Um, I need to plug that in. And you're talking about... Um, maybe this one specifically, Detail Devil. Ah, interesting. Okay, yeah, this one. So it's this one then, I assume, right? I love this one, but I totally can understand not loving it. I'm definitely interested to see the alternative that you have in mind. Yeah. Cool. Good call out. I'm going to get to a safe place, and I actually have to run. I've been drinking too much coffee. I'm going to run to the restroom real quick. I'm going to do a quick visit, but I want to get to a safe place. I don't want somebody to <laughs> bop me on the head while I'm AFK. Uh, yeah, Altariel, no, it does not, to be frank. It's one of those, so I think officially on 6.0, we're not going to recommend SSR or Wet World because they're a little jank. Um, I play with it, but 
yeah, it's hard to whoops, it's hard to recommend using them because they're on the jank side. Um, there is an MR in progress by Wazabear where we are moving fully to rendering to the FBO. Right now there's like an awkward rendering going on where we like have two different things going on at a low, very low level instead of like the post-processing buffer. And I feel like that MR being merged would allow us to solve a lot of problems we have with effects right now. I'm gonna sit right here. I will be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. Cheers. If I ever see that elf, he's in so much trouble. Talk with you? Something tells me I might regret it. Come on, I haven't got all day, you know. Yeah, good call out, Gonzo, regarding the SSR. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's a bit of a shame. There we go. <laughs> I have, uh, my webcam is sitting on top of a slinky box. It's on top of a notebook. I don't have, actually have it mounted on anything, and when I bumped the table, I moved it. Okay, um, what do we do now? We need to find Fargoth, but it's nighttime, and he's disabled so while we're here waiting um i just want to throw out a mod idea that i have and i think we could do this right now which is a lua powered npc schedules mod um i'm not sure how powerful the ai interface is at this time but i thought we could make some new ai packages like go home um and go home could be like so what the current NPC schedules mod does is it simply disables given certain conditions, right? If it's this hour or that hour. How do well, I know a, you're a not up to something devious? Well, you don't, lady. Um, with a lure powered mod, we could say like actually like in Oblivion and stuff, you know, actually walk home Fargoth and I could go into Fargoth's house and find him there. If I go there now, he won't be there because <laughs> he's out here. He's just turned off. Yeah, if I wanted to break my game, I would just Talk play it with him by you? hand. Something tells me I might regret it. It's a very blue light. Let's hear it, Argonian. So, um... No, I don't think so. On that note, I will mention a few of the tweaks that I'm using to sort of give my game the look that it has. And one of the most noteworthy tweaks is regarding lights. And I am using Waza Bear's Waza Light Fixes script, which will read your load order and properly adjust lights based on certain parameters. Right, exactly, Gonzo. That's what I'm thinking. Exactly that. We'll have it de facto anyways once we uh, implement Oblivion, and there will be nothing stopping us from taking the Oblivion mechanic and using it in Morrowind. But until then, somebody could potentially do that now. I just haven't had a lot of time to hack on it. Um... But anyways, we got That's Waza's so light nice fixes in the mix here, and I have tweaked them slightly from the default. Right, detail double. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm going for, and I think we can do that with Lua, but I would need to really prototype it, and it would be a, you know, not an easy task. Um, you know, we would need to hard code a lot of things, right? Like, we would need to know what MPC is what and what their home is, right? Like what a store owner go here um, during these hours, you know? And there would be, I think, not much we could do programmatically 
quite a lot of hard coding, which would make it tough. Um, yeah. So anyways, though, uh, Waza Bear's light fixes. I have made a couple tweaks. Waza disables the fire flicker by default, and I bring it back. But if you don't like the flicker, you know, that's default behavior there. Um, but also, I make a tweak to the configuration so that all lights are toned down a little bit more. Sort of like a modern replacement for True Nights and Darkness that is dynamic to your load order. And it produces, in general, darker scenes. So if I go inside, you know, um, you would get like an overall brighter interior here with the defaults. But I strongly recommend trying that out. It will be in 6.0. And uh, it's got a simple CFG file that you can tweak to kind of get different results with various types of lights. Um, it's the biggest impact, I think, for interiors for me. Uh, just because, like I said, I want a darker scene, but I want the lights to be more effective, you know, and um, I tweak the light radius of non-colored lights a little bit. Um, Waza Bear bumps up colored light radius Ooh, as it is. I thought it was a good level. Um, yeah. Well, uh, let's... I think we'll end the stream by taking a walk. Come on, I haven't got all day, you know. And we'll see what we find. What time is it? 1 a.m. <sighs> Let's go. Make it quick, I haven't much man. time, so be quick about this. And the entire way from here to Belmora features landscapes by Glitter Gear. And it's just really beautiful stuff. Wasn't an especially barren part of the map, really, but wow, you know, just wow. And even now, on our left here, you'll see some of that handiwork. If somebody doesn't try to kill me. Let's go ahead and save. It's been a minute. <laughs> All right. Just to be a practicing magic. Would you look at that? Oh. All right. Oh, look. Somebody wants to kill me. Yeah, Sophia was definitely on something, onto something with this luck pick. Nobody's hitting me, and my my I casting chance you. seems to be pretty good. All right, uh, I'm a little boned though. I gotta get out of here. I don't know why I always avoided luck. I'm gonna try luck in more games too. I feel like a very lucky Fallout character could be fun. Yeah, I agree. By the way, Gonzo, I agree. These are nice. These are very nice parallax maps. Help. No shame. It is almost too good. I know. I almost feel a little goofy. Well, after I get rescued by the guard here. I almost feel a little goofy, but... I found myself. <laughs> there we go. Surrender now and I might let you live. Yikes. <laughs> Give in. You won't escape me that easily. Oh man. Die! Stupid. <laughs> wow. Um, I almost feel a little goofy saying this, but um, kind of further to what Sophia said a little while ago, I find myself sometimes just like looking at the rocks, right? Like, joining the this parallax is so good. Yeah, guard dogs from Ezzy. Totally awesome. Cool idea. He mentioned it to me privately, and he's like, is that a good idea? And I'm like, yes, do it. Um, but yeah, like you can see like the light <laughs> responding to these stones. In the uh, ground, right? Where did like, I put that? It does look too good, considering it is a legit flat texture. Let's um, get this over with. Do I got a light on me? Yeah. Fuck this thing. You know. Look at these ones over here. 
just nice detail really nice and the way they respond to the light very cool yeah we're looking at the ground <laughs> Cool. Oh, you know what? Wait. This is another mod by Ferris. I hit the V key, and I busted out a torch. Uh, it would be... I forgot I had that one. Light Hot Key by Ferris. Yeah, totally. Agreed. Too awesome. Why aren't you at your post? What? I feel like he shouldn't be saying that to me. I am not in the Legion. I think you should keep walking. Come on, I haven't got all day, you know. What? Yakum. Me. Speak Ashland, not speak so good, old elf. Sorry. Okay, then. This better be important, Argonia. Embody splendor in your name. Bards of Barden Hell by my in your <gasps> it comes near. What does it want? All right. If you're here for <laughs> Gonzo, <laughs> probably that. <laughs> Let's get this over with quickly. You will address me. Another 10, 15 minutes or so here, and we'll wrap it up. Just enough time to get to Balmora, provided nobody tries to kill me. Which seems likely, honestly. I'm going to put the auto run on and have a sip of coffee. Pretty good. I'm really happy with how this looks now. Um, nighttime is especially beautiful, but in the day, you can really get a look at just all the lovely clutter, flora, the bugs. Hmm. Yeah. Agreed. Oh, no. <laughs> Just what the doctor ordered. So this is where luck is really going to come in handy, right? Like a marksman is not going to be Oof. I spoke too soon. Okay. All right. We're going to have to run back to our, <laughs> our friends, the guards. Hey, welcome to the chat. Thank you for joining. Yeah, great looking game indeed. The nighttime is uh, dark. We got true nights and darkness at play here, uh, in addition to Waza light fixes. Where's that lady at? <laughs> Yikes. No, shoot. All right. Well, hopefully I could just like drag the angry person back to town with me so the guards can take care of her. I was really hoping to make it to Balmora in one piece. So what did we learn today? We learned that luck is actually a pretty rad thing to start off with a lot of. I probably would have died if it weren't for that. A few times. It's my pleasure. Thank you for being here. Just hanging out, playing Morrowind. Here we go. Thank you, friends. <laughs> Protective guards in action. As he's guard hounds in action. There is no shame letting these guys take care of business. <laughs> oh, I should keep accidentally right-clicking. Cool. So, you could say that this is a... You know, it's a thing with friends and foes, but you invariably end up with a lot of crap from all the people who are trying to kill you. 
So despite the economic woes introduced by, you know, our mods, um, you still got stuff. Thank you. I really appreciate that detail level. Um, we're going to be, you know, as part of the improvements that are coming out with the next update on the website, going to have a, a, a refined shader loadout. And uh, I'm actually working on an all-in-one shader pack. Just one zip that you'll download that'll have all the shaders that you need for the setup and easy, you know, instructions on what to activate. So we'll be able to share this look with the masses. Um, since you mentioned it, though, and I tried to do this a little bit earlier, but got distracted. Let's take a quick look at what I got here um, in terms of my shader chain. And I am very confident, with the exception of these two. I'm very confident that this works really well and looks good. And the ordering especially is solid. Um, had a lot of help from Abdu on Discord with this. So big thank you to Abdu and lots of love. Yeah. Oh, it's coming, Detail Devil. It's coming. I started working on it this morning. And I also did actually come up with that uh, tweaked cloud shaders which will decrease the uh, density of clouds at nighttime. And we're beta testing that. And uh, it's configurable with a settings menu. And I think it works pretty good because I do feel like we do need maybe some under some weather conditions, lower density clouds at night. So uh, look for that too. Yeah. Uh, Certainly, I've actually I've actually had the great pleasure of Detail Devil here sharing me a lot of specifics about their setup, and you know it's amazing how you can have a pretty all-encompassing setup like Total Overhaul, but then there's still like a ton of stuff that we don't touch. And so yeah, uh, it's a very easy right. Like you can just get into that cycle of like endlessly changing and tweaking and trying things. Uh, so it's kind of hard sometimes to commit to this is what I'm playing with because you don't want to like you know update stuff in the middle of a playthrough and then you're having a bad time hey whatever you're looking for i'm sure i don't know how to find it well okay then and yeah i love seeing other people's setups too you know um there's not enough time in the day to find everything that's out there uh, for one mere mortal, at least. We're almost there. And there's just... This whole region has gotten, like, the magic touch. Um, you can just walk around and do nothing and sniff the flowers, proverbially. You know, And there's so much to see. If you've played the game for 20 years like me, there's just so much new cool stuff. It's like a new game, practically. Yeah, agreed, for sure. Um, hard to time those things, sort of, but, like, you know, we're definitely down to do, like, a 6.1 when that comes out or something. Um, I'm not sure how existing save-friendly those updates are, though. I understand they try to make them friendly, but... Nice. Zesterer's core shaders, the ones that have like the wavy trees, those are pretty cool. There's something to be said about that look for sure. And uh, D Manufacturer has a couple reshade presets that definitely look pretty interesting to get that kind of out there look, you know. Yep, whoops, just me with the right click finger. What is wrong with me? Just the clouds against that skybox, you know. What can I say? And here we are. We are in town. And just another look at some coffee beard, glitter gear landscapes here. BCOM jet properly jazzing up this beautiful city. And so, as I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, ga a gameplay session like this is something that I want to do on a, a kind of a regular basis. Maybe every Sunday can be gameplay game, uh, gameplay day. Nice. Okay. 
Awesome detail, Devil. That's great. Yeah. So like I said, we need to have a mod list, another mod list that showcases all that cool stuff. But yeah, so, you know, I look forward to having more gameplay. Maybe we'll hack on the website Saturday. We'll play the game on Sunday, you know, kind of a balance here. Um, Bell Towers, I got them, Detail Devil. They're here. Yeah, I hear you, Altariel. That's fine. I hear you. Yeah, I got it, Detail Devil. As you recommended, I installed them. Let's go up here. Yeah, I second that. Thank you, Detail Devil. We really appreciate it. So we got these Bell Towers up here. We'll just sit here for a moment. Maybe we can hear him. With the directional sounds. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. All right, I'm going to have another swig of coffee here. Yeah, they do. They really do. I only have the Balmora ones because um, I wasn't sure how compatibility worked with BCOM in other cities, but we got detailed on this patch here for this one. And, uh, yeah, tested it out briefly, and it sounds pretty cool. Nice touch. Very nice touch. Thank you, Detail Double. I appreciate that. Let's save it before I cheat. So what timing am I looking at? Um, we don't really have a schedule. We're trying to finish up 5.10 right now, which is the CFG generator refactor. And after that, we're going to be all in on 6.0. Maybe we can talk privately. Hit me up on Discord. Jesus. I can move around a little bit, but I just spilled coffee all over my desk. This is probably a good time to... Don't, don't worry, Smalley. We'll handle it after the stream. <laughs> I appreciate you. All right, let's, let's sound him again. Cool working. Awesome. Yeah, I just... Ugh, I'm covered in coffee now. Um, well, we can... We can probably wrap up the stream here. This is the, this is the gods telling me it's a good time to wrap it up. So, um... Thank you so much, everybody, for joining. And like, like I said, we're going to be doing more of this gameplay stuff on Sundays. I encourage you to tag along and uh, happy modding and have a beautiful day, friends.